Hey everyone, Pam here. I just finished the second Journaling by Fives Mystery Challenge presented by the Mary Atlay. This was day five of a, uh, there was a challenge presented every single day for five days in a row and it was just so much fun to follow along. It was the first time I ever did that and at the same time it was being presented too so it just added an extra level of it and I tried to do some process videos but ran into some technical difficulties and so I'm just doing a quick show of what my final pages are I will prov provide links to her videos so that you can go and see how she presented and what her guidelines were I did deviate a little bit in that this page here would have been on the back of this but I knew that I wanted it on a two-page layout in the book I'm gonna put these in because I'm really really liking these challenges so I think I'm gonna put them in that way so this would have been on the back side and I did go with a W because it was the first letter that came to my mind when she was giving the presentation on the first day. So I went ahead with my instincts and it worked out. It, it worked out okay. But um, the as I was contemplating the W and what I wanted to have it represent, I these words just came to just came to me spontaneously and so this became my quote and it says I wonder what I want winds wildly winding the way I wonder with words through wilderness woods and wine wanting what I wonder this wonderful wanting so um, so that's what I used there I totally messed this up so I had to gesso it over, and I was hating it for a while, but it, it ended up working out okay. I, I think it made it pop, and the um, it was actually the title as well as the final line. So um, with that, the wilderness, the woods, the... Um, I had actually, in my original notes, I said worms wriggling and writhing, and I completely left that out when I was writing it down, my own quote. <laughs> so anyway, um, this image here came from a magazine. I thought it was a beautiful picture of a forest, um, deep in the forest with the shadows and the bright flowers. The image here is of worms that I actually harvested this past spring. We had a very wet spring and so I would go out every day and harvest just handfuls of worms and then take them over to my compost pile and uh, this is a picture of one of my compost piles that started off as a challenge and I very successfully got it um, the right balance of the carbons, the nitrogens, the water, the you know the moisture level and everything, and it's just turned out beautiful. But um, it was it was a challenge to get that, but it worked out. Um, the snake here was found one day. It's a picture from my my compost pile when I took the cover off. There was this garden snake, and then I used the dilutions whoops dilutions spray ink on it um, and around the edges here also here and a little bit on the snake I used the um, the Viva 3D stamp paint and this is in the violet metallic so I like the way that turned out and it does have a bit of a rough texture to it. Let's see, I used a uh, rubber stamp of a tree throughout and then outlined this in metallic uh, silver. And then when you flip it over, first I wasn't liking these colors. I thought they were very muddy and dark and 
I was disappointed because I really love things brighter, cheerier, but this fit, it ended up fitting, and then before I started writing in here, all right, so the journaling and the quote, well, the journaling was, according to the guidelines, supposed to go on the back, which is for me this page, but I hadn't put anything on here and so I had a, a clear palette to work with and that's why I chose to do my journaling on uh, this section and <clears throat> as I was working on this before I wrote this I realized that I had a representation of every season so here we have the spring then the summer uh, deep forest summer and then this was just looking like autumn. So I put the autumn leaf on and then used silver snowflakes in the background on this cold blue. And then I had messed up a little bit in here and so I just took the white paint and kind of swept it in to kind of represent wind movement maybe a little bit of a snow flurry <laughs> but um, and so the journaling portion is winter is near and as I wander wander and define this next chapter in my life this song enters my mind what better foundation to build on than the earth itself the woods the wilderness the winds of change have surely shifted and so the song that I'm referring to is Forever Young by Bob Dylan. And this is just a line from it. May you have a strong foundation when the winds of changes shift. And that's been crossing my mind quite a bit lately. Um, <laughs> that's on a personal level. So after I had, had written this down, this was too blank. And I needed something in there, and I didn't want to do any more journaling because I said everything I needed to say. So I just went in and took some more um, from his lyrics, but I didn't take them in order, so they don't rhyme, but they still have an impact on me personally. Um, may your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. And then later in the song, May you always be courageous and stand upright and be strong. May you stay forever young. So there is my, um, my finished product. I'm so thrilled with that, and I'm so grateful to the Mary Atley. This was just so much fun. So a huge shout-out to her with a big thanks. And um, I hope you like this. I... Um, Give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and I'll, um, I'll look forward to, to your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.